basically for another, for a part three, I think, or a part four of this basically Carrera car modeling tutorial. So where we last left off, we finish the, the, the side skirt of the car, I think. So now what we're gonna be doing, honestly, is we're gonna be doing the bumper of the car itself and getting the bumper of the car set up. So what I'm gonna do is go left right here. And what we're gonna be doing is constructing, let's say an actual plane or so. Constructing an actual, actually better. I'm gonna actually, to be honest, it's better to use this. Or I'm actually gonna use plane. And just go into here. And just kind of move this right up to here. And just go into here. And just go right click scale. And we're gonna actually scale this, I would say. We're gonna go into here and go front, I would say. that out a little bit right here it's like that so we have that right there so now what I'm going to basically do is start going into front. Actually, we're gonna go into left. Actually, we're gonna actually go into top because this, is, this would be a better representation of what we're gonna be doing. So we're gonna move that right about. So like that. And we're gonna go left. And I'm just gonna go in here and go extrude. Make sure we're has set link extrude. And we're gonna hold CTRL for extrude. And right click, and we're going to make sure we're on the top view. And we're going to move this right here. Top view. Actually, front view. Actually, left, I mean. And we're going to kind of do the exact same thing and kind of get out the, the infrastructure of this. Right click move and we're going to hit top view right here. Actually a better idea to do this honestly is we're going to go into here, top view, and we're going to make this left view. And 
and actually we're going to make this diagonal like that and now we're just going to go into here right click move and we're going to move that in the middle which is the x-axis which is zero right about there and now we're going to probably turn that to left so that's just about right go director's camera like this so what we want to try to do is kind of draw this out like this I would say and kind of go into here and add subdivision right here so what we did was we went into extract along and now we're going to hit extract around right here and like that basically and gonna go extract along Going to go into here and go extract along. And that's what we're going to do right there. And that's how we do it. So we're going to go into here and go left view. So this is what it looks like. And then we're going to hit on wireframe right here go into director's camera and go right click move and what we're going to try to do is kind of go into here and go move along right here like that so we draw out a line curve right here Going to extract a lot around like that. Right here. And now we're just going to move that. Top. We're going to select this right here. I'm 
And that's what we have right here, ready to, to be used right there, I would say. So that's what I designed right here is this. So that's what it looks like. So what I'm gonna be doing is going into left, you know, kind of like drawing this out, I would say. This is what I'm going to be doing right here, is this. So I'm just going to go into here and copy this. Go into here and go duplicate. Go invert. And just go hide. And under this I'm going to go CTR duplicate again. And actually go into here and go ruled surface like that. just going to go view reveal like that and that's added right there 
So now when we go into here, I think, you're right, we, we would go like this. Delete. this and I'm just going to straighten this out more like that and move that in right about here like this like this right here so we have that and we're just going to go into here and go into here and just go invert selection and we're just going to go uh, hide Just gonna go CTRL. Go right click move. And go into here. Go CTRL. Go extrude and just go CTRL, extrude. Just go right click. Just click on this. Click on that. Click on these things right here and just go bridge right here and that's what we would have right there ready to be used and then we select this and you're right we would just go into here and go extrude CTRL Right click move. And kind of move that right there. And 
And now I'm just going to go into here. And I'm just going to go extrude again in CTRL like this. Right click move. Then we're going to select these and we're going to go, we're, we're going to either hit shift W or we just go into here and go into the weld tool right here. And we're going to start selecting that right there. And that's what is selected so far. So now we're just going to go into here. Just gonna select this right here. Gonna go loop. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into here and go extrude. Scale. And that's what we have ready to be used. And then we're just going to go front. So that's going to be left like that. So we're almost done the entire body. So we're going to go right, left. And now we're just going to go extrude again. So I wonder if this is one piece. Yeah, we're going to leave that as one piece. Go scale. And we're going to scale that up like right about there. And just going to go extrude down. Like that. And there we go. We have the main body piece, chassis piece already done. That's like the bumper right here already done. And then what we are, we're going to do is kind of go into here and scale that a little bit like that. So 
So kind of like that. And we're going to kind of add a subdivision into this. And right click scale. And what we want to try to do is kind of go into here. And go into here. And I'm going to try to scale this up like that. And just like add that into there. Kind of add subdivisions in here to the car. So that's what we have ready to be used. Front. So I'm just actually going to reveal all of this. Reveal. Front. So, I mean, it's not going to be accurate like the blueprint, but now this is supposed to go right here, I think. So I'm just going to go into here.
front. And then I'm just going to go in here. So I'm just going to add another loop division cut right there so I can edit this even more and refine and then what I'm probably going to do is go into here Actually, I might go and extrude. That's the size I want it. Extract along. And I'm just going to go in here. Go in here. Just go like this and just add a kind of a loop cut right there. And this is where the loop cut is going to go. And then we're going to select the, the polygon face and we're going to hit like triangulate face right there on this thing. So kind of like that. And... So when we go into here, we're going to go into here and go translate like we're actually going to go translate triangulate polygons like this. triangulate like that go into here it's 
something like this. We'll just keep it like that. And then what we're going to do is go into here. And we're just going to go extrude again. Scale. And we're just going to go into here and go selection. And actually scale that down like that. And this is where the selection is going to go. Like that. And we're going to go right click move. Like that. So that's where the selection is going to go. And this is where the light is going to go right here. So I'm just buying by this blueprint right here. So that's what the light is supposed to look like. Like that. Looks pretty accurate. And now we're just going to go in here. Ex CTR extrude. CTR extrude again. CTR extrude. And that's where it's going to go. And then what we can do is we can go into here and add lines right here to it, like this. Like that. And that's already done right there. And just go into here and go along here. And that's it. So when we add smoothing, it smooths perfectly like that. Go smooth edges. Dissolve edge. That's not working very well. So what we're going to do is go into here. Go link. Just go into here and just go link like that. That's more better.
Gotta somewhat fix that edge right there. Just go in here, dissolve. I think I know the reason. And I'm just going to go in here and Dissolve. Trying to fix that gap right there. Go link. Let's try it out. That's more better, much more smoother. So if we were to select this.
go in here, and I'm just going to go d dissolve. Go link. And just go link. Just go into here, link. So that side is already done. So let's see how much time. So that's like, you're right, like at least 34 minutes or so. So I'm just gonna go into here. So I guess that's kind of like, like part two of this tutor mini tutorial, which I'm probably gonna go into here and, you know, kind of like, Add some subdivision in this, like that. Give that some subdivision right there. So that's all fixed. It's just that this wasn't for poly in a way. So when that's not for poly, it won't work out. The only thing I want to do, honestly, is go into here and actually I got a better idea. I'm just going to go into here. I'm just going to go here. that I would say and just go in here and that's what I do right there and that's how it actually looks so if we go out of that that's how it looks so far it looks well welly welly done right there So, I guess that's it with this, this, this part four of this tutorial. And part five, we're going to go more in depth on the bottom of this and start more working more on the top of this. And then I'm going to start connect, disconnecting one of these pieces right here and just weld these pieces together. So, what I'm probably going to end up doing is right here I'm going to probably end up start cutting extruding this piece right in right here and start doing a, a little bit this piece right here and that piece so I guess that's it with part four and and now we're going to go to part five so stay tuned for part five I hope you like my tutorial please subscribe and please Give me likes and I hope I can help you a whole lot on this and I hope you enjoy this tutorial.